Okay. Number 10. As you can find here, again, it's text structure and purpose. Which choice best state the function of the underlying portion of the text as whole? So if you look here, we find that we need to concentrate on the underlying sentence. Why do gift giver assume that gift price is closely linked to gift recipients, feelings, appreciation? Perhaps givers believe that bigger, for example, more expensive gifts convey stronger signals of thoughtfulness and consideration. According to Cameron 1988 and others, this is the sentence that we need to concentrate on, and the others, gift giving represents symbolic ritual, whereby gift givers attempt to signal their positive attitudes toward the intended recipient and their willingness to invest resources in a future relationship. In this sense, gift givers may be motivated to spend more money on a gift in order to send a stronger signal. Smaller and larger gifts as they're presenting smaller and larger signals of thoughtfulness and consideration. So we need the function of this underlying. It offers an explanation. I think, think because he said here, according to camera, so it's a kind of, it introduces the argument, just wait. It's not an introduction. It's going to be in the beginning. And here it doesn't say or mention anything about an argument or a debate. It question a motive. Here it doesn't talk about any kind of motive. Like it doesn't say anything. And it's not a kind of question. It supports the conclusion again. It's like the introduction. The introduction in the beginning, the conclusion is going to be at the end. So it's not going to be the answer. The answer is going to be A. Are you clear? Yeah. Omar Zidane? Yes. Omar? Yes. Paris? Yes. Okay. Number 11, which choice best state the main purpose of the text? I'm not going to read every now and then that whenever you find the main purpose, you have to look at the first and last sentence. So earlier this year, a series of paper in the Lance reported that 85% of the $265 of the $265 billion spent each year on medical research is wasted. It's because too often absolutely nothing happens after initial results on the study are published. No follow-up investigation in due to replicate or expand on a discovery. No one uses the finding to build new technologies. The center will explore what are the best ways to make scientific investigation more reliable and efficient. First sentence, the last sentence, and find which one equal to them. It argued that scientific studies need to be more efficient. I think he talked about medical research, and medical research is the kind of scientific studies. And again, here it said about scientific investigation that the art scientific studies need to be more reliable and efficient. So that's the answer. It described the results of scientific study. It doesn't talk about any kind of results. It explained the history of scientific inquiry. It didn't talk about any kind of history. It highlighted the fraudulent nature of research studies. It doesn't say any kind of fraud here. He talked about that the medical research is wasted because there is no replication. He doesn't talk about fraudulent nature. So the answer is A. Number 12 again. He said, which choice best state the main purpose of the text? We are talking about the same thing for sentence plus sentence. The Algada restaurant was in Turin Road near Divinabini. It was long and narrow with table for two along the walls and tables for four down the middle. The curation was art modern except for the serious mural depicting the four seasons, and the six ferns in the front window. Let me sit down at the second table from the cash register and order his dinner. The history book, which he propped again in the cat's up, and the glass sugar bowl had been used by others before him. Blank pages front and back were filled in with maps, drawings, dates, comic cartoons, and organs of the body, also with names and messages no longer clear and never absolutely legible. Or nearly every other page, there was some merge annotation either in ink or in very hard pencil, and unless, why I take a sentence before? Because of and. And unless someone had upset a glass of water, the marks on page 177 were from tears. So as you look here, here he talk about the place, here he talk about the book, and why the kind of water that we found on the last page or on page 177. It introduced the, page, the passage's main character by showing his night habits. He didn't talk about the main character here or there. 
It indicates the date the passage took place by present period of days. It didn't talk about any date. It conveys the passage setting. Yes, he mentioned here the restaurant. There's a kind of setting, a place. By describing a place, yes, and an object, the book. So this may be the right answer. It describes an important event that leads to understand the story solution. He doesn't talk about any important events, even if you said that this kind of things. And where are the story solution here? What happened? We don't know. So the answer is C. 13, again, which shows basically state the main purpose of the text. Again, the first sentence, last sentence. There is yet another approach. And instead of rooting ethics and character or the consequences of action, we can focus on our actions themselves. From this perspective, some things are right, some wrong. We should buy fair trade goods. We shouldn't tell lies and advertisement. Ethics becomes a list of commandments, a catalog of dons and dons. When a finance official refuses to devalue currency because they have promised not to, they are defining ethics this way. According to this approach, devaluation can still be bad, even if it would make everybody better off. So it developed a counter argument to the main that greed is good. We don't talk about greed here or there. It provides support for the idea that ethics is about character. I hear the, 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 the actually he swapped. Because here he said, instead of rooting ethics and character, the opposite. So thank you, no. It described a third approach to defining ethical economy, maybe, because here he said, there is yet another approach. So a third approach, a second approach, I don't know, but it's another approach. So maybe third. To defining ethical economics, I know that here he said defining ethics. It's not the last sentence, but he's talking also about definition of ethics. It's illustrated that one's action are results from character. Again, here he said, instead. And instead, refruiting ethics and character or consequences of action. So instead of the consequence of action. So the answer is C. 14 again. Which choice bestayed the main purpose of the text? We still talk about the main purpose, first and last sentence. Some of the largest ocean waves in the world are nearly impossible to see. Unlike other large waves, these rulers called internal waves. Don't rise the ocean surface. And instead, they move underwater, undetectable, without the use of satellite imagery or sophisticated monitoring equipment. Despite their hidden nature, internal waves are fundamental parts, important parts, of ocean water dynamics, transferring heat to the ocean depths and bringing up cold water from below. And they can reach staggering heights, some as tall as skyscrapers. So, it explains how scientific devices used Wait, we didn't talk about scientific device here or there. Yeah, scientific device was mentioned in the middle, but it's not in the first and the last. It notes a common misconception about an event. We didn't talk about any misconception. It describes a natural phenomenon. Yes, we're talking about something that happened in nature, internal waves. And the dress is important. Yes, here he said fundamental. Here he said fundamental. It presents a recent study and summarizes the finding. Maybe a recent study, but we didn't find any, any findings in result. So the answer is C. Ali, clear? Yes. Yes. Omar Zidane. Yeah. Omar. Omar. Yes, Mr. All clear. Uh, Paris. Yes. Okay. 15. Did the first question in this test talk about the overall structure? And we know that the overall structure is a summary. Here he said, Ken settled on the Chucker partridge as a model species, but he might not have made his discovery without a key piece of advice from the local rancher in Montana who was supplying him with birds. When the cowboy stopped by to see how things were going, Ken showed him his nice, tidy laboratory setup and explained how the birds' first hops and flights would be measured. The rancher was incredulous. Was incredulous mean that he was surprised? He took one look and said in pretty colorful language, what are those birds doing on the ground? They hate to be on the ground. Give them something to climb on. At first, it seemed unnatural. Ground birds don't like the ground. 
But as he thought about it, Ken realized that all the species he'd watch in the wild preferred to rest on ledges, low branches, or other elevated perch where they were safe from predators. They really only used the ground for feeding and traveling. So he brought in some hay bales for the chuckers to perch on and then left his son in charge of feeding and did the collection while he went away on a short work trip. I, as I told you, the question here needs a summary. So it reveals Ken Dyle's motivation for undertaking his project. And then it showed the project procedures. He didn't talk about any kind of motivation. He took about the situation that happened that let him change his point of view. Let him change the procedure to do this kind of experiment. It underscores certain differences between laboratory and field research. And then it showed the importance of field research. No, because it took about laboratory. I'm sorry, it took about field research. Okay, because this actually is a kind of birds that he do an experiment on them. It shows how an unanticipated piece of information. Yes, the information that came from the cowboy. Influence can die research. Yes, it affected him. It changed his ways of conducting the experiment. And then it shows Dye's mo modified procedure to meet the new information. Yes, here he said that he brought hay bales. So he changed his mind when he's conducting the experiment. So this is the summary for this one. It introduces a key contributor to the tree down theory and then to present his method. It doesn't talk about anything about tree down theory. So the answer is C. Which always bestate the main purpose, again, of the text? First sentence, last sentence. They are actually in the text here, two sentences. This hypothesis can best be tested, the care, it's a kind of experiment, by a trial where in a small number of commercial honeybee, bee, uh, honeybee colonies are offered the number of preferred producing plants, as well as a typical bee food source such as clover, while controls are offered only the clover. So now we have two groups. One is the experimental, the other one is the control. The experimental is going to give them two kind of food, preferred producing plants, and, uh, and clover. The other one is going to give them also only clover. Mites, mites as a kind of insects, could then be introduced to each hive with note made at the choice of the bees and the effects of the mite parasite on the experimental colonies versus controlled colonies. Then they're going to find what will happen to the experimental and the control. It summarized the results of an experiment that confirmed the author hypothesis about the role of clover in the diet of wild type honeybee. We didn't talk about any results because we're still doing the experiment. No results. We didn't know what happened. It proposed an experiment, yes, to investigate how different diets, yes, we talk about preterum and clover, produce, uh, I'm sorry, uh, how different diets affect commercial honeybees, call it susceptibility to mite infestation. Yes, the, the main thing. It's a kind of experiment to see how the mites will affect according to the diets. It provided comparative nutritional analysis of honey produced by the experimental colonies and by the co controlled colonies. No, we didn't talk about the honey at all. We talk about the mites might effects or influential part on the uh, the commercial honeybee. It predicts the most likely outcome of unfinished experiment. If you look at A and D, they are talking about the result, the outcome. Both of them look like each other, and you know that this actually, we didn't finish the experiment. Ali, clear? Yes. Omar Zidane. Yes. Omar. Yes. Ferris. Yes. 17. Which choice best describe the overall structure? Again, summary. The problem of our age is the proper administration of wealth. The, the ties of brotherhood may still bind together the rich and poor in a harmonious relationship. In former days, means in the past, there was little difference between the dwelling, dress, food, and environment of the chef and those of his retainers. The contrast between the palace of the millionaire and the cottage of the laborer with us today measure the change which has come with civilization. Without wealth, the good old times were not good old times. Neither master nor servant was as well situated there than as today. A relapse to old condition would be disastrous to both. Not the least so to him who would serve and would sweep away civilization with it. 
But whether the change be for good or ill, it's upon us, beyond our power to alter, and therefore to be accepted and made the best of. It's a waste of time to criticize the inevitable. Okay, let's find the summary. A personal history is narrated, I think, because he said our age, so it can be personal. Historical examples are given. No, we didn't give any examples of, his, of history. So delete it. A position is stated. Yes, this also is a position. Your point of view. The problem of our age is the proper administration of wealth. Historical context is given. Yes, they took about the past in former days. And earnest advice is given. Yes, it's a waste of time to criticize the inevitable. It's a kind of advice. Certain principles are stated. It's not principles. It's only one principle. Take care of that. Because with this, you're going to find it in the digital set. Sometimes they make one thing plural. This is wrong. Or make many things singular. This is wrong. Take care of that. He didn't talk about principles. He only one principle. A historical period is described. He didn't describe the his history in the beginning. He start with the position. So be uh, the right answer. Number 18, the scale of the text structure and purpose, but here for the underline. No, no, I'm sorry. This is a vocab question. This is a vocab question. As used in the text, what does the phrase not readily favorable most nearly mean? My emotions are complicated and, you know, the and, what come before it equal to what come after it have the same meaning. So this part or this phrase had the same meaning of complicated. And not really for everyone. I feel a fast yearning that is simultaneously a pleasure and a pain. I'm certain of the consummation of this yearning, but I don't know yet what form it will take. As we said, that this part or this phrase, it could mean of complicated. So unable to be authenticated? No, I don't talk about that. We said complicated. Likely to be contradicted? No. Without empirical support? No. Not completely understood? Yes, complicated means they can or they are not easily understood, not completely understood. 19 also, vocab question. Which choice complete the text with the most logical and precise words or phrase? Many moral dilemmas arise when these three versions pull in different directions, but are not inevitable. In inevitable means cannot be avoided. Can't be Avoid it. <laughs> Can be avoided. So if you look here, we're talking about problems. So it can be conflicts. Yes. Mismatch. It's a kind of thing that happened between wife and husband or two lovers. So we're not talking about here in the kind of these things. Collision like an accident between cars. No. Brawls, uh, it's in Arabic Makeda, like trick. And we're not talking about tricks here. We're talking about dilemma. So conflicts is the main thing. Number 20 also, it's a vocab question. As used in text, what does the word common most nearly mean? That's fine. He said, he, he said here, it seems to us incontestable. Incontestable means no kind of competition. I'm sorry for my handwriting, but this means competition. No kind, if something is incontestable, means no competition. It seemed to us incontestable that our common happiness, above all that of women, required that they never aspire to the exercise political rights and function. Okay, take care. We said incontestable. Means something that, that has no competition. So average, it doesn't give me the meaning of no competition because we are depending on the context clue. Shared, yes. If something shared means that no competition regarding this is shared, everyone is going to take a piece. Of course, no, similar, no. Why similar, mister? Similar means no competition. Who told you that? No. If you have similar things, even you're going to have competition. But shared, no competition because all of you shared with it. So the answer is B. Alia, clear? Yes. Omar Zidem? Yes. Omar? Yes. Paris? Yes. Okay.
21, take, don't forget that each module 27 questions. Two questions are now calculated. 21, which choice complete the text? Also, it's a kind of vocab. Which choice complete the text with the most logical and precise word or phrase? Akira came directly breaking all tradition. Was that it? Had he followed something that he gave a dash? So there's a kind of explanation. The word here is explained here. Had he asked his mother to speak to his father to approach to a, a go-between? So it's a kind of tradition. It's a kind of custom. Tradition and custom are the same meaning. Would Chai have been more receptive? So appearance, no, because there's no appearance. This is a kind of custom. And he mentioned here that he break this kind of custom. He break or he broke this kind of tradition. Structure, no. Nature, no. 22. It's the structure and purpose question. So here you need the overall structure, means the summary. Mishlin Bissenby, a historian and citizen of the Chuktua nation, has identified a dilemma inherent to research on the status of women in her tribe during the 1617. What this, what this dilemma is? The primary sources from the era, the primary sources, from the era travel narratives, so the primary sources were travel narratives, and there and other accounts by main European colonizers. Underestimate the care. These primary sources underestimate the degree of power conferred on Chakatua women by their traditional roles in political, civic, and ceremonial life. Bisson B argued that the Chukatu oral tradition and finding. So now she finds a secondary sources. She wants to depend on secondary sources. Why? Because the first sources underestimate the role of women. From archaeological sites in the tribe's homeland, supplement a written record by providing crucial insight into those roles. So it details shortcomings. Yes, there are shortcomings here. Understand of certain historical sources, then argues that research should avoid those sources altogether. No, he, she didn't say that we should avoid those. She said that we can depend also on secondary sources. It describes problem. Yes, there is a problem that arises in research on a particular topic. Yes, the role of women. Then sketch a historian approach to addressing this problem. Yes, she said that she depend on the oral tradition and finding from archaeological sites. So it can be. It lists the advantages. No, we didn't talk about advantages. We talk about disadvantages from the beginning. It characterized a particular topic as especially challenging to research. No, she didn't say that it's challenging because she found the secondary sources. So the answer is B. 23 is cross-text connection. Based on the text, how would the research of text 2 like respond to text 1? So now I'm going to read text 2. No, the point of view and find how it's going to reply to text one. The researcher thus conclude that range and anxiety may be an overstated concern, since EV, means electri electric vehicles, can meet the daily travel needs of more than 85% of US drivers, even after losing 20% of their originally rated battery capacity. They also conclude that batteries can, I'm sorry, here this can, can satisfy daily mobility requirements for the fullest type lifetime of an electric vehicle. Take care. Here he is with electric vehicle. He is with electric vehicle. Let's go up. With present day technology, however, electric vehicles cannot compete. Here he is against. So we know that this is not going to accept the point of view of this. With internal composition vehicles, According to one review, energy density two and five times greater are required to meet the performance goals of a future generation of plug-in hybrid electric vehicle, PHEVs, with a 40-80 mile and all electric range and all electric vehicle with a 340 mile range, respectively. To make the leap, scientists will have to find new couplings of battery material. Text two will not accept, accept the words of text one. So they would argue that it's likely impossible to meet the performance need of future electric car vehicles? No. Now he swapped the point of view. Text 2 will say that it's possible. 
They would claim that most electric car driver need batteries that can last for more than 400 miles. They didn't say that. They would agree that electric car batteries don't currently meet the need of most U.S. driver again. He said that it will meet. They would assert that electric vehicle likely have performance ranges greater than initially thought, yes. It will satisfy daily mobility requirements. So he mentioned that, or they mentioned that. 24, also cross-text connection. He said, based on the text, the author of text one and the author of text two would most likely agree with which is taken. Here you can start with text one or you start with text two. The main thing I need that both of them are going to agree on what? Text one. The STIR researchers are hopeful of a breakthrough. They can now use compu computing to accelerate the discovery of new electrode and electrolyte systems. This creates a positive feedback loop in which computing inform experiments and experimental results help refine the computing process. This high through, throughput iterative process may be scientists' ultimate hope for discovery. Materials that can be significantly improve the electrochemical performance, safety, and cost of batteries. Uh, so here, he hoped the best for electric batteries. Let's find here. With today's electric vehicle EV batteries, end of life is commonly defined as when the storage capacity drops down to 70 and 80 to 80 percent of the original capacity. As capacity fades, the vehicle range decreases. Berkeley researchers decided to investigate the extent to which vehicles still meet the needs of driver beyond this common battery retirement threshold. Again, he talked about that they are thinking positive about the future of electric vehicle. So humans need to stop using fossil fuel as an air source. Both of them didn't talk about fossil fuels. Researching the performance of electric batteries as a worthwhile endeavor, yes, both of them, of them talk about the future impact of electric batteries. The travel need of U.S. drivers are likely greater than anticipated. Nothing talk about the, U, the U.S. drivers. Electric cars will soon become more popular than internal composition vehicles. Yeah, they talk about electric cars, but they don't talk about popularity of them. So the answer is B. Are they clear? Yes. Omar is them. Yes. Omar. Yes. Paris. Yes. The last three questions. 25 actually wasn't it wasn't calculated as a test. The two questions that on that test when you conducted are not calculated where the, uh, I'm sorry, where question three and question 25. Which choice best describe the overall structure of the text? So here also it's a summary. Summary of the whole text. Earlier this year, a series of paper in the Lens reported that 85% of the 265 billion dollars spent each year on medieval research is wasted. It's because too often absolutely nothing happens after the initial results of a study are published. No one uses the finding to build new technologies. The center will explore the best ways to make scientific investigation more reliable and efficient. For example, there is a lot of interest in collaborative team science, study registration, stronger study designs, and statistical tools and better peer review, along with making scientific data, analysis, and protocol widely available so that others can replicate experiments, thereby fostering trust in the conclusion of those studies. Okay. An explanation of a phenomenon is given. No kind of phenomenon. It took about disadvantages that happen. So thank you. The identification of a problem. Yes, there is a problem happening here in the first sentence. And the proposal for solving this problem, then he gave us a proposal. Yes, he said that we must replicate this kind of experiment. We must do a kind of collaborative team science. So it can be. A prediction for the future is stated. Nothing to talk about the future. The introduction of an argument is mentioned. Maybe it's, there is an argument. And the counterclaim refuting this argument. No, nothing refute this argument. So the answer is B. 26 is cross-text connection. Based on the text, the author of text one and the author of text two would most likely agree with which statement. Again, start with text one or text two, no problem. The main thing, we need to find the point that they agree together. Mean being, as has been said, by nature, all free, equal, and independent. No one can be put out of this state and subjected to the political power of another without his own consent, his approval. 
The only way whereby anyone divests himself of his natural liberty and puts on the bonds of civil society is by agreeing with other men to join and unite in the community for their comfortable, safe, and peaceful living one amongst another in a secure enjoyment of their properties and a greater security against any that are not of it. This any number of men may do because it injure not the freedom of the rest. They are left at the wear in the liberty of the state of nature. When any number of men have so consented, approved, to make one community or government, they are thereby presently incorporated and make one body polity, wherein the majority have a right to act and conclude the rest. Here he's talking in general about that anybody can give up his natural liberty to join a community. And when he joined the community, the majority, the majority is going to decide. Let's find here. The social contract should increase the well-being and liberty of every citizen. If any one side a condition should slip in, if one part of the citizen should find themselves by the contract subordinated and exploited by the others, it would no longer be a contract. It would be a fraud against which an animal might at any time be invoked justly. Here he said that this kind of contract that you join a community, it will give you more liberty, more freedom. Let's find. They both acknowledge that participation in society increased the liberty of every individual. No. Because here, he said that it will increase the liberty only. No, no, no. Here he talked about the increased liberty. Here it doesn't say that. Because here he said the majority will decide. They both agree that participation in society increased the liberties of a limited number of citizens. No. Here he said increase the liberty of certain number. But here he said increase the liberty of all people. The author of text one believed that participation in society increased the liberty of those in the majority. Yes. While the author takes to believe that it doesn't increase the birth for anyone? Yes. Yes, he said that. The author takes one believe. I'm sorry. Now the second one, he said, I'm sorry. The text one takes two. He said it will increase. It doesn't increase. No, wrong. The author of text one believe that participation in society decreases individual liberty? Yes, he said that. Because you're going to give up your natural liberty. While the author takes to believe that it increased them? Yes. So the answer is D. The last question is cross-text connection again. He said, based on the text, what would the author of text 2 most likely respond to the underlying part text 1? So here we need to know the point of view of text 2 and find how he's going to reply to the underlying part. The social contract should include all citizens with their interests and relations. If a single man were excluded, why I use here where? With a single man, there's a nice question. No one asked me about, but I'm going to answer you because this, it will not happen for him. It's something that will not happen. So he used where? Like with a condition with if, if something that condition is with if, and you know that it will not happen, use the plural with the singular. Like if I were you, because I will never be you. If a single man were excluded from the contract, if a single one of interest upon which the member of the nation, intelligent, industrious, and sensible beings, yes, are called upon to bargain were omitted, the contract would be more or less relative or special. It would not be social. So here he said that if, even if one person is excluded from the contract, no, it's not going to be social. It's going to be something relative or special. Let's find how he's going to reply to the first part or the underline. For when any number of men have by the concept every individual made a community, they had thereby made the community one body with a power to act as one body, which is only be the will and determination of the majority for that which acts any community, being only the concept of individual event. And it be necessary to that which is one body to move one way. Now the underline. It's necessary the body should move that way with the greater force carries it, which is the concept of the majority. Ah, oh, here he's not going to accept this point of view. Takes two is not going to accept. He's not going to accept the majority. He said every single person. Or else it's impossible it should act or continue one body, one community, which is the concept of every individual that united into it. Agreed that it should. And so everyone is bound by the constant to be concluded by the majority. So agreement? No, he's not going to agree at all. Agreement is not going to agree at all. Disagreement, yes. Because society must address the needs of every individual, yes. Hear what he said. It must agree or meet the needs of every individual. Disagreement, maybe. Because some minority opinion 
Me, in fact, better than the majority opinion. No, he doesn't say that which one is better. He said that the social contract must include everyone. Ali, any kind of question? No. Omar Zidane? No. Omar? No, Mr. Thank you. Paris? No, Mr. Okay. We didn't finish our session. We have the third domain. Take care that we finish the two domains that, are, that relate to the uh, reading. The hardest, as we said, that include eight skills. We finish together eight skills. I wish that you can revi or you could revise these eight skills again, please. As we said, the, this kind of domain, this kind of domain, that craft and structure has 28% of the whole test. So let's go to the third domain. Let me send for you the answer key for this first. We have only this week, guys. Do your best. I have extra question for the domains. I'm going to send it for you to answer, to send me the answer. Like, I'm going to send for you. You answer, then you send it to me for the eight skills, for the two domains of reading. I'm going to send it for you just to have more kind of practices. And they have also uh, I have other tests. I'm gonna send for you the link, but this by the end, like by Thursday, I'm gonna send for you those links to be trained more. As they as they mentioned before, on Friday, no one do anything. Just relax. Okay, did the answer key for the one that we answer it together right now? Alia, did you receive it? Yes. Okay. Now the new domain, the third domain. It's a grammar mode. Expression of ideas. You're going to like this domain, actually, because it's easy. But it needs some kind of memorization for the transition words. We have only two skills in this domain. And in the last domain, also, we have two skills. So we still have four skills only. Love the tests that we're going to conduct it together. Okay, let's start with the third domain expression of ideas that has only two skills. The first skill is transition. Here I'm talking about the transition words and I have a nice way to solve all the questions of grammar. You're gonna know it. I think the people that they took like Omar Zidane and Alia, they know my way in uh, grammar. We delete the, question, uh, the answer that they look like each other. And we keep on the one that is different. This rule is called odd one out. Odd one out. That's fine. The transition. You can hear me well, is that right? Yes. 
Yeah. On the reading and writing section, if you said some questions, we'll ask you to select the most logical transition word or phrase to connect information and idea within the brief passage. You know that the transition words are, is uh, I'm sorry, are words that connect what come before to what come after. But we have many categories of this kind of transition. We're going to look at them together. But as I told you, it needs from you some kind of memorizing. Transition are the glue that holds ideas together. They connect sentence in ways that tell the reader how those sentences are related. The transition used in the text should reflect the relationship. The relationship between ideas usually fall into the following categories. We have the first part, agreement. Agreement. So do the sentence express the same underlying idea? If so, we may want to use an agreement transition like similarly, like the sentence. Look at the sentence before and the sentence after. You're going to find that they agree with each other. So here he said, lentils are an excellent way to add plant-based protein to one's diet. And here he said, other legumes like beans and chickpeas can serve as integral protein source for vegan and vegetarian. He took about the same thing. He took about protein from plants. So here we use similarly. Do we have other words to show agreement? Yes, we have again, also, correspondingly, equally, likewise. The second category is disagreement or contradiction. Like the first, first sentence contradicts with the second. Do the sentence identify a disagreement or contrast? If so, we may want to use a disagreement transition like however. It's fine. Here he said the rock star Prince was a multi-instrumentalist, having played 27 instruments on his debut album, the second sentence. He's primarily remembered as a guitarist and vocalist. Uh, the first sentence, he said that he played 27 instruments. The second one, he said that only he played a guitar. So they are contradicting with each other. So we use however. Do we have other words for disagreement agreement, or contradiction? Yes, we have but, yet, conversely, though, still, in contrast, although, nevertheless, and on the other hand. The third category is sequence and order. Sequence and order. Are the events in the sense being organized by time or by position? If so, we may want to use a sequence transition like previously. So let's find the two sentences and find it's a kind of sequence and order. The Pulitzer Prize winning novel, A Confederacy of Dunces was published in 18, 1980, 17 years after it was written. The second sentence, the novel had been rejected by many different publishers. So here it was published as we know, 1980. Here he said that it was rejected. So that means we are talking about order. So previously. We have other words like then, later, before, afterwards, first, finally, and subsequently. After that addition, dot the second sentence, elaborate on the first, give more information. If so, we may want to use an addition transition like furthermore. Let's look at the two sentences here. Molds are highly suited to their lifestyle with short, powerful for lengths, adapted for digging. The second sentence, molds have evolved to require less oxygen, allowing them to avoid suffocate, suffocation while underground. So here he give a kind of additional information. So because of that, we use furthermore. Other words for addition, additionally, also to moreover and in fact. The fifth category is exemplification, to give example. Does the second sentence provide an example? If so, we may want to use an exemplification transition like, for instance, let's look at the sentence. Throughout history, painters were endangered by poisonous ingredients in their paints. The second sentence, the use of lead and white paint causes lead poisoning. He talked about poisonous. And many famous artists, including, including Van, Van Gogh. Yes, mister. He gave an example for lead as a substance in paint. So for an instance, what are other words? We have, for example, for one thing, 
and to demonstrate. The last category, cause and effect or reason. In the second sentence, caused by or a consequence of the idea in the first sentence, if so, we may want to use a cause and effect transition like therefore. So let's find these two sentences. The Hubble Space Telescope has provided astronomical insights for over 30 years, but its eventual breakdown is inevitable. We know that inevitable cannot be avoided. Then he said its successor, the James Webb Space Telescope, was launched, was launched in late 2021. Take care. He said that this actually provided insight for over 30 years, but it's eventual breakdown that it will stop. So because of that, they launch another telescope. So therefore, what other words that we can use since, because, subsequently, thus, as a result, accordingly, and consequently. Are they clear? Yes. Omar Zidane? Yes. Omar? Yes. Paris? Yes. Okay. The example, guys. Look at my own way. As I told you, we're going to use the odd one out. The odd one out. In fact, as we know, the in fact is what? Agreement. The right? Agreement. Yes. Though, contradiction. The care that in fact can be used for agreement or addition. Therefore, cause and effect. Moreover, addition. So now I'm going to cancel A and D. Cancel A and D. Let's now look at those. But also I have to return back to the sentence to know the relationship. Let's find. Here he said, Iraqi artist, Nazik Al-Malika. She was a famous artist. Celebrated at the first Arabic poet to write in free verse. Didn't reject the cares, he said. Didn't reject traditional forms entirely. Her poem, Elge for a Woman of No Importance, consists of two ten-line stanza and a standard number of syllables. Now the second sentence. Even in this superficially traditional work, Al-Malika was breaking new ground. The care, traditional. And breaking new ground, memorizing an anonymous woman rather than a famous man. So we know that it's traditional, but she breaks a new ground. So here we know that it's a kind of contradiction, though. Ali, clear? Yes. Omar Zidane? Yes. Omar? Yes. Ferris? Yes. Okay, now your turn, guys. Yeah, the first one, and write your answer on the chat box. You the rule of odd one out, guys. Okay, I have the answer for fair from Ferris. I have the answer from Omar. Omar Zidan. Waiting for Omar and Alia. You the odd one out. I got the answer from, from Alia. Waiting for Omar. I sent it, Mister. Okay. So I have three different answers. Ferris and Alia sit B. Omar Zidane sit D. And Omar said A. Let's have a look, guys. Omar, we said you the odd one out. 
However, however, contradiction, ya Omar. Accordingly, cause and effect. Nevertheless, contradiction, ya Omar. Furthermore, addition. So now I'm going to delete A and C. Omar, I'm going to delete A and C. Take care, please. So now I have B and D. Whether it's a cause and effect or addition. It's fine. Reforestation efforts, while undeniably valuable, often result in forests with limited biodiversity. Limited by diversity. Now we start saying the second sentence. Care should be taken. So because of limited by diversity, Omar is it then? Care should be taken to plant a wide variety of native flora in depleted woodlands. So that means it's a cause and effect. Omar, is it then? Accordingly. Uh, I'm sorry, I changed it when I know that accordingly is cause and effect. You change it where? Did you write another answer? Yes, look at the chat. Ah, oh, yes, okay. So, uh, Omar, clear Omar? Yes. Okay. Number two, please take care. Number two, please take care. Got the answer from Ferris. I got the answer from Alia from Omar Zidem. Waiting for Omar. Okay. Alia Ferris Omar Zidem said A. Omar said C. Let's find at first the function. However, contradiction. Did you change your answer, Omar, or what? No, no, okay. Therefore, cause and effect. Afterwards, sequence. As a result, cause and effect. So now we know that we're going to delete B and D. We are between A and C. We are between A and C, whether it's contradiction or sequence. The Gordy Who had trick, an unofficial statistic in which a hockey player scores a goal, records an assist, and gets in a fight all in the same game. It's named after hockey great Gordy Who. Okay, the second sentence. Who only achieved this feat twice, only achieved this kind of things that he scored a goal? Records and assists and gets in a fight all in the same game only twice in his professional career. Far fewer times than many other players. Despite that, they name these things after his name. So there's a contradiction. However, clear, Omar? Clear, Mr. Take care, Omar. Number three. I got the answer from Omar Zidane, from Alia. Uh, 
Yes, sir, I sent mine. Okay. From Omar, waiting for Fabs. Okay. Alia and uh, uh, Alia and Ferris said A. Omar said B. And Omar said C. Let's find. Additionally, addition. Thus, cause and effect. And instead, contradiction. In some agreement, unfortunately, I don't have to use here odd one out because nothing agree with another one. So let's find out the relationship between two sentences. To discover which fruit variety were grown in Italy on various region before the introduction of industrial farming, botanist is the Dalla region often turns to centuries old list of cooking ingredients. So this scientist to discover the variety of fruit, she returned back to centuries old list of cooking ingredients. She analyzes Renaissance painting of Imperia as they can provide accurate representation of fruits that were grown there a long ago. So she analyzes, so she returned back to list of cooking and she analyzes Renaissance painting to know the fruit variety. So this is a kind of additional information. Not cause and effect, not contradiction. Clear both, Omar? Yes, Omar. Yes. Then. So I thought that additionally and in some, that they have the same meaning. No. So In some agreement. And you remember last time I told you that من الآخر, يعني, in some, من الآخر, he summarized whatever it said. Here he didn't summarize anything. He didn't repeat the same thing. He add information, Yom. Yeah. Okay, clear? Yes. Okay. You have Homer guys from four till eight. Four till eight. Let me write it for each one. Mr. from 4 to 8. Yeah, I'm going to write it now. Omar. Okay. Alia, did you receive the homework? Yes. Okay, I just put for you the uh, the homework from four to eight. We have uh, Alia. Uh, are you free uh, tomorrow at five thirty? Um, can I check and let you know? Yes, please. Okay, don't forget yeah. that this is the last week. We have to work hard. Okay. Okay, so guys, we're gonna meet tomorrow uh, at uh, five thirty. Uh, tomorrow is gonna be. We're gonna complete. Uh, from four till eight, when you submit the answers. And then we're gonna take the quiz relate to transition. And after the quiz, as we know that we need to work hard this week. After the quiz, I'm gonna go to the last, the last skill of this domain, inshallah. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, mister. You're welcome, bye.